Hello, everybody, and good afternoon. We all have moments in our life that we never forget. December 29, 1980, I finished a car drive from Chicago to Dallas and became a Texan. My father was chasing opportunity just like many other Texans have chased opportunity as they move to this great state. June 6, 1992, 6 p.m., I married my wife of 25 years. I'll never forget, in a very good way, I'll never forget. And then in March 12th of 2008, my first child was born, my daughter Georgia. We all have moments like this that shape our lives that we never want to forget. So today we're going to talk a little bit about moments, and that's where the bullet train comes in. Time has become a commodity, actually one of our most precious resources. We want to feel it like this or this, but for too many Texans, it's filled like this. That's why we're working on this. For commuters between Houston and North Texas, it's the Texas Bullet Train, the fastest and safest way across Texas, trimming a four and a half hour slog into a smooth 90 minutes. Say you're in Houston just after daycare drop off. You get an urgent request. Can you be in Dallas for a rush meeting at noon? By air? No, by car. Absolutely not, but by bullet train, yes. Trains leave every 30 minutes between North Texas and Houston in both directions. And with just that, you're on. Your itinerary stays a step ahead, building itself on the fly. Say you had a car in Dallas. Done. And the station's right where you want them. We'll help you find your way, in person or with cues to guide your way. Trains leave on time, every time. But if you choose, you can hang out a bit. You're still on track for that noon meeting. Security also works differently, using technology to ensure just the right people are on board. Again, trains leave every 30 minutes, literally like clockwork. No delays, no weather glitches, no airport nightmares. Choose to order any food? It'll be delivered right to your seat. Charge your devices right from your tabletop. And at nearly 200 miles an hour, stop and go becomes all go. 90 minutes between North Texas and Houston. There's fast, free connectivity to whatever you want. Movies, TV, even updates on your itinerary. And as you order stuff on board, we'll tally up and send receipts to your device. As you get closer, your device is tracking, lining up your ride and other info for your arrival. Then you're there. A morning fire drill turned into a noon meeting. And the return, just as easy. Amazingly getting you back well ahead of pickup. 90 minutes across Texas. It's the smarter, safer, and faster way across Texas. It's America's bullet train. Thanks. Well, we all know that, that everybody puts value on their time, but being there for the moment is priceless, and that's what the Texas bullet train is about. And as you know, we're going to import Japanese technology, the Shinkan Zen N700. I have another video that should be launching. There it is. So it's the Japanese Shinkan Zen is the most uh, reliable system in the world. It's been in operation the longest of any of the high-speed rail systems in the world. It has an operating history that includes zero crashes and zero fatalities with tens of billions of passengers moved. We're bringing the best system in the world to Texas. It's the right train for Texas. It's electric, it's light, it's energy efficient, and it's proven. And we're proud to bring that technology. The mountains are not included. I have to do the disclaimer. <laughs> Uh, bring that technology to Texas and move Texans from North Texas to South Texas and from Houston up to Dallas frequently and reliably every day. So it's not just about um, the train itself, but it's also about the experience that you get on this train. It's the widest bodied train in the world, so we'll have comfortable seating uh, compared to airlines, compared to your cars. Most of the people that move between Houston and Dallas are in their vehicles. So it's also bringing the train across the U.S. as an extension of an existing relationship. It's one that began many, many years ago and is continuing today. This is um, my family, 
at the SC Railway Park in Nagoya, Japan. I had the privilege of bringing them across for our spring vacation. As you walk into the museum, there's a grand hall that's five times as big as this room and taller. And it is a in it is a series of trains that begins with this one. This is the N700, the most modern train in the service today. The N700S is what we'll be importing, which will be delivered not only to ourselves, but to JRC, Japan Rail Central, in 2021. But as you start here, you see this train is modern and fantastic. And you'll see my son's hand. That is proof of life. He exists there in the middle. But as you walk this way towards the end of the museum, you run across examples of older bullet trains. And that's a full picture of Philip displaying the train. And you get to see a whole history of the evolution of the technology and the improvements that were made. And when you get to the end, you see this train. It was one of the first trains used in Japan when Japan shifted from steam-powered trains to electric-powered trains. And this, too, is an extension of our relationship. So if you look close, that's a general electric train. The electrification of trains started in Japan using U.S. technology. High-speed rail in U.S. will be used, will be based upon Japanese technology. It's a completion of a cycle. It's an exchange of technology and culture that's been ongoing and will keep going on after we complete this. If you talk about culture, Texans have a strong culture. One would say it's a car culture. They like their cars and their trucks. And one of the most frequent questions we get asked about culture in Texas and our train is, will Texans leave their car? And I'm here today to show you the most innovative transportation evolution of my lifetime. My smartphone. It changes the way we all move. Texans have adopted ride-sharing, ride-hailing, um, short-demand rental cars. You name it, we've got it, and we're adapting it at rates at higher, at, as even with or higher than other urban areas across the country. As a matter of fact, Texas has the first test market for Uber helicopter taxis. Urban Texans have left their car. It's history. It's known. It's obvious to us. There's no question that they've abandoned the car culture when it's more convenient for their life and their mobility. They'll still own vehicles and still own trucks and will have a very large network of roads and parking systems. But for us, this connects us to the first mile and the last mile. Our smartphone, we can be sitting on our couch and arrange a trip from where I'm sitting, or if I'm standing out front, to my station, to the other city, Houston or Dallas, on to my final destination with one click, one experience. That's what mobility as a service is providing to us, and the Texas Bullet Train will take advantage of that. The other reason we know that Texans will leave their, tr their car and ride our train is they've told us. We've surveyed thousands of Texans, and over 80% say, if I had the choice of riding the train, I would take it. I would ride your train. So not only we've observed their behavior, but we've asked them. And they said, yes, we want this technology. And our smartphones have done another thing. We've either willingly or unwillingly have told service providers where we are and how we're moving and where we're going. The data we've been able to capture from Bluetooth signals and the movement of cell phones across the state of Texas assures us that lots of Texans are moving. 16 million trips a year, purpose-driven from Houston to Dallas or Dallas to Houston, are occurring. 15 million of those are by car, 1 million by air. We know that the opportunity to, drive, to, to ride safely, get there in 90 minutes, be productive, arrive in time for the moment, it's compelling to Texans. So as we talk about moments today, not all of them are big moments. Some of them are, are fairly small. Being there in time for daycare, that's important. Being there for the business meeting, that's important. Being able to do both in the same day is critical. But let's think of the missed moments and the missed opportunities. Think about have you ever not taken a trip to Dallas from Houston because you had to be home for a personal event and you couldn't afford the risk of weather or congestion preventing you from arriving on time? In my case, the answer is yes. And a lot of people tell us it's yes also. So the combination of Japanese technology and American entrepreneurialism and Texans that travel are going to make the train a tremendous success. 
And we are very excited and thank you for your time today.